For this lesson, we're going to find out exactly what a blacklist is inside a flow graph and how we can use it to manipulate or remove nodes that are no longer valid in our production. So going into our flow graph, I already have a flow graph node, and we can drag in two things that we're going to change. We're going to change the AI active count. We're going to completely remove this, so it should not show up when we change the blacklist and then restart the editor. The next thing that we'll do is we're going to manipulate the game start node, which is pretty common. So we're going to change it to a completely new folder, and we're also going to rename the file itself. This is actually not that hard to do, so we'll go ahead and save this out and close the editor because we need to restart it anyways, and we're ready to go into our blacklist. So inside of our assets on a blank project, we can go to libs. We can go to flow nodes, and the flow node blacklist is what we want to change. So we can see right here, it gives us a little bit of help. It says these are where we can change the nodes, and it removes or allows backwards compatibility to be preserved. And we can already see that we have the rename class starting with REN. So it says class start, and the new class name is game start. Let's change this to something that's a little bit more abstract, and that way we know we did change it. So we'll call this one tutorial and we'll change this to maybe start because you would never ship a game like that. So we'll know that it's definitely changed for us. Click control S and now we're ready to actually remove a node. And we said that we wanted to remove an AI active count. So we're going to start this out with REM, short for remove, just like rename is REN. And we're going to do class. And we'll put this into parentheses and we'll do AI colon AI active count. And then we'll put this in parentheses and we'll close this out. So now what we've done is exactly what we said. We are going to remove the class AI AI active count. And we are also going to rename the class start. And we're going to stick it into a new folder called tutorial and we're going to rename it to maybe start. So I'm going to click control S to make sure I save and then I'm going to start up the editor. So now that I'm in the level that I had before, we have our flow graph. What we're going to do is go to flow graph itself. We need to make the node. So FG test. We'll click OK. And now if we go to AI, we can see that the active count has been removed as we said we would do. And then we can go to game and we'll scroll down, we see that start has been removed, like we said. And if we come down here, we have tutorial in a folder, and we have something called maybe start. And it encapsulates the same functionality and just basically renames it. So this is how you can call a lot of these nodes that maybe you don't use. And you can even rename things and put them in the same folder for easier access overall for usage for yourself or even for your team when making your own game development.